But what we're basically being told is you have to get them now or else you'll never get them. And I say, okay, well, I look at these roadmap competitors, uh, you know, the roadmaps of the competitors, I see nothing there that's capturing the future. I see the same predictable buzzwords again and again. TPS, infinitely scalable, rah, 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 rah. They just say stuff. Yeah. And, and then I see the protocol design, and I know they're going to have to rewrite the protocols like Ethereum has to, which means that the minute they admit that, they're going to go down the same road Ethereum's gone down, only they have less money and less time to do it and, no, and not the same network effect to do it. And also they don't have any of the engineers or scientists necessary to actually conceive of these protocols. So they're going to have to copy some of our stuff and people like Algorand stuff and so forth that actually thought about the future and have the engineers and the, the scientists. So how am I in a bad position if, if that's the case? You know, you can disagree with it, okay. But then you have to honestly tell me, it's like, well, what is their strategy then? How are they going to get there? And so forth. And they usually don't. They just talk about token price or performance or, you know, some vanity partnership with some, or they put their logo on a Formula One car or they put their logo on a stadium or something or, you know, subway car. Oh, look how smart we are. We, we paid a bunch of money to get some people to look at this or we're running commercials with Matt Damon. You know, we're, we're getting it done. You know, <laughs> I've never run a commercial with Matt Damon. No commercials yet, right? No. <laughs> 